In this video, we're going to be learning about acute angles, right angles, obtuse angles, and straight angles. So we will be covering topics such as what are angles, what are the types of angles that are there, and how can we measure angles using a protractor. What is an obtuse angle? What is the right angle? What is a straight angle? What is an acute angle? And then we would also be learning about what is the degree sign that we use when we represent angles. So angle is a closed path. It's not, it's not a closed, it's an open path that forms when two lines together. So we've got one angle here, we've got another angle, we've got another angle, and then we've got another angle here, right? So all of these over here are called angles. Because these parts, they create these open parts create an angle when they meet together. All right, so we how we could measure angles is using a protractor and instrument like this. You would find this in your composite box. So when you're measuring angles, first, you need to make sure that this, the baseline of this pot has to be at the base of this will be here, okay? And then you need to go from zero. We need to start from zero like this, and then go up until the place where the other path stops. So we've got 90 degrees here as an angle, right? So all angles that are 90 degrees are called right angles, okay? All angles that are 90 degrees are called right angles. Right. Now, let's measure this angle together. All right, so when you're measuring this angle, we can see that this angle is more than 90. So this part, the base part is over here. And when you start from zero, it goes on and on, and it passes 90 towards this side. It passes 90 to 100. So an angle that is more than 90 degrees, this angle is 100 degrees. So an angle that is more than 90 degrees is called an obtuse angle. Right. And an angle that is less than 90. So over here, I've got the base path on zero. And when you keep on moving upwards, we see that this is 20 degrees or 20 degrees is less than 90 degrees. So this angle is called, this type of angle is called acute angle. And over here, they've got a straight line. If you have the base path on zero like this, and if you keep on going towards the next line for keep on measuring towards the next slide, you see that it's 180 degrees. So an angle that is 180 degrees is called a straight angle. Right, so an angle that has a 90 degrees that is 90 degrees is called the right angle. Any angle that is more than 90 is called an obtuse angle. Any angle that is less than 90 is called an acute angle. And any angle that is 180 degrees, or we could call it a straight line, is called a straight angle. Right? So these are the types of angles that are there. And this is how we measure it using protractor, and that's how we could identify it. And generally, right angles are represented with a square over here. So when any angle, even though the decrease is not, the angle measurement is not presented, when you see a square at the base of the angle, it's called a right angle. Right generally means it's 90 degrees. So and then this symbol is called a decrease. So when you're measuring angles and when you're writing them down, you would generally mark this small symbol that's at the top right. So let's go ahead and identify these types of angles, right? So the first angle that I'm going to draw is, okay, so can you try identifying what this angle is for me? This is an obtuse angle. This is an obtuse angle because this angle we can see it's generally more than 90 degrees. All right, if it's 90 degrees, it has to be straight. It has to go over here. So since it's more than 90 degrees, it's an obtuse angle. So let me write another angle for you. What type of angle do you think this is?
If your answer was a right angle, then you are correct, because when you have a square at the bottom of the angle representing that angle, it means it's a right angle, it means it's 90 degrees okay. And then, what about this angle over here? What angle do you think this is? Okay, yes, it is a straight angle because we see the angle is towards this side right and it is 180 degrees because it's a straight line. So it is a straight angle. What do you think about this angle over here? Okay, this is an acute angle because this angle is less than 90 degrees. We see that this angle is less than 90 degrees. So what about this one? What angle do you think this is? In this, it is an acute angle, right? Because we see this angle is slightly smaller than a 90 degrees, right? So this angle is called an acute angle. So what do you think about this angle? Yes, so we could see over here that this angle is slightly bigger than 90. Okay, you can see that this angle is slightly bigger than 90 degrees, so that means it's an obtuse angle. And that is how we could identify angles and measure them accordingly. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe the channel to get more conceptual videos.